I use speedball for the emulsion. This is what you would call a consumer grade. You can buy industrial grade, but those require industrial grade uh, equipment to expose the screens. This is a very forgiving material, so you, it's normally used in, say, like a elementary school setting, that sort of thing. And it's designed to get an even coat of emulsion on the screen so that it goes into this trough, and then I'll be pulling it up. What's it called, Scoop coater. Scoop coater, okay. Yeah, scoop coater. Um, and you can buy these in different lengths. I brought Brian a big, long section. Uh, uh, but you can buy them in different lengths, and they're generally about $2.10 an inch. So um, once you get one, I mean, Jeez. you're kind of stuck. And, and you'll notice, other than those four kind of Dick Blicky style ones that I brought, um, I have all the same size screen. I did that for a reason. So I brought some emulsion pre-mixed. Um, uh, Jason, can you go out there and grab some paper towels? There's some right there. Oh, perfect. So, screens all prepped, ready to go. All I have to do right now is scoop coat it. The way you do that, you saw me pour some in there. This scoop coater has two edges. There's a sharp edge and a, and a rounded edge. The rounded edge is for a heavier application of the emulsion. The sharp edge is for a thinner application. Uh, if you ever get into screen printing, if, uh, or if you know someone who does it, like for t-shirts and stuff, usually you use a thicker application because the stencil, as you're printing, can break down. So if you're trying to do 100 or 200 shirts, you need a strong stencil, a strong screen, right? You guys get what I'm saying? So the thicker makes it uh, stronger. However, the thicker it gets, the more time it takes to expose it. So, I do one coat and that's where my timing is set for my light box. If I try to do thicker, then it throws my exposure time off. So here's how it goes. All right. You can go on the inside or the back. I just usually go on the back. You tip it and let that run down onto the screen. All right, and then you pull it up, tip it back to allow that emulsion to run back into the trough, and there you go. Now sometimes you might get a, a big bead here or drips, and if that occurs, normally I will have like a, a Bondo scraper or hold it at the bottom and tip it up. And I will allow that emulsion to run down onto the screen. And then pull it. Tip it back. And that's it. And then if I get any dribbles, I'm going to try to get that stuff off of there because what will happen is if you have heavier emulsion there, it takes longer to dry. And then you get that on your exposing unit and it will harden on there and it is a bear to get off. Take the emulsion. I mean, even though it's on glass, you can hardly get it off with a razor blade. You know, straighten it off. The image is flat up against the screen and you won't get what is called image undercutting. When it wraps around like that, it's called image undercutting. So I'm going to expose this, but we'll bring your other group in again and show them this, and okay. then I'll expose it. All right.
can wash some more out right in that little bit of text. So I'm going to hit that a little bit harder. And that took it out. All right. Now if you expose properly, you should be able to hit it with a fair amount of pressure. All right. That'll blow that soft emulsion out. 